In recent years, the World Bank has been focusing on connecting emerging economies to one another to foster closer cooperation on critical development issues. Countries want to learn from other developing countries' successes, but they also want very much to share their own success stories. This is a very important uh, program of the World Bank, uh, which is called South-South uh, Knowledge uh, Exchange. Uh, World Bank is not just a, a financing institution, but we see ourselves as a knowledge broker. We see ourselves as an organization which with unique access to global knowledge. In embracing the age of information technology, the World Bank has initiated projects to support the enhancement of IT-enabled services and good e-governance practices in developing countries. India is among the most preferred destinations for IT and IT-enabled services worldwide and it is now sharing her IT success story with the rest of the world. Through the World Bank's South-South Knowledge Exchange program, India and Moldova are finding common ground in sharing good e-governance practices with each other. These countries are starting their e-government journey and India is already in the midst of implementation. So there's a lot of knowledge experience in India which can be easily shared with other countries through the South-South Exchange. We are here to share our experience and we all deserve a better life regardless from where we come because the technology makes us all equal. This is being done through the reciprocal exchange of experiences, knowledge and technology and by building partnerships on existing successful initiatives. This project is specifically designed to support networking between professionals, experts and industry associations which have a high leverage on good governance in the collaborating countries. We have lots of similarities in our approach to the technology and our approach to the solution of the governance issues. India and Moldova have long benefited from the developmental activities of the World Bank. Under the South-South Exchange Initiative of the World Bank, a knowledge exchange between India and Moldova was initiated in December 2010. A group of e-government leaders and practitioners from Moldova participated in the knowledge exchange to exchange knowledge and skills to promote e-transformation. The development objective of the exchange was to encourage foreign investment into Moldova and to stimulate Moldovan exports of IT and IT-enabled services. Moldova is actively stimulating uh, ICT industry. We, uh, we have preferential tax regimes for ICT companies. In terms of e-governance, uh, we feel that India has uh, a large uh, variety of uh, uh, best practices. We are setting up more than 100,000 common service centers. These common service centers are nothing but the front end. These are telecenters. And citizen can go to the telecenter to seek information, to submit their application. COC project when it was taken up, it was felt that it would not be implemented by the government. It will not be a project like the community information centers, which were run by the government and owned by the government. It was thought that it will be implemented by private partners on a service procurement model. In January 2011, e-governance practitioners from Moldova and India initiated talks to begin organizing an exchange. Soon after, the Indian e-governance experts traveled to the Moldova ICT Summit. The government of Moldova sent a high-level delegation to India in August 2011. They interacted with senior policy makers and practitioners from the Department of Information Technology of the Government of India, the National E-Governance Division and many other stakeholders. In their interaction with the Honorable Minister for Communications and Information Technology, Mr. Sachin Pilot at his residence, the exchange participants discussed the details of an MOU between India and Moldova to strengthen bilateral cooperation between the countries. 
The Moldovans also met with other key Indian government officials to finalize the agreement. The delegation also visited Bangalore where they interacted with the leadership team of the Center for E-Governance of the Government of Karnataka. During their visit to the Bangalore campus of the Software Technology Parks of India, the delegates were introduced to the best practices in IT industry promotion. The delegates also visited Infosys, Wipro and Genpak, where they discussed the opportunities for these companies to invest in Moldova. We would uh, like to invite Indian companies which are much larger and much more experienced and developed and mature than Moldovan companies to participate uh, in the projects and to help us to, to develop our ideas. The Moldovans participated in the E-World Forum, where the World Bank hosted a dedicated session on Moldova-India collaboration. Additionally, the delegates visited the World Bank office in India and exchanged ideas with the local World Bank team working on ICT and e-governance projects. The countries are working together to finalize their Memorandum of Understanding which is expected to be signed by the end of 2011. As highlighted in this exchange, the World Bank's South-South Knowledge Exchange program is playing an important role in helping to fulfill the World Bank's mission to connect countries that want to promote development with other countries that want to share their successes.